The Vancouver Island marmot is one of the most critically endangered species in all of Canada, and possibly in the world. Um, in 2003, there was only 31 observed counts of Vancouver Island marmots in the wild. That number in 2019 was about 119, so showing that the Marmot Recovery Foundation is doing some great recovery work when it comes to growing their population. I was very fortunate to be given the opportunity to photograph some of these marmots over the summer and uh, document some of the wild species. And in this video, I'm just going to showcase a little bit of my work. So this is one of the first marmots up in the Strathcona provincial area. You can see the tag there. This, is, this means they are wild. It also means that they've been trapped at some point and monitored. And uh, this guy was putting on a little bit of a pose, one of my favorite photos from the summer. Same marmot. They tend to hang around in these little burrow areas. This one was hanging around with a bunch of other marmots at the top of one of the mountains. Now if you look closely at this photo, you'll see that this marmot's having a mosquito problem and one of the air tags is getting a bit loose there. And uh, if we move on to the next photo, you see the uh, mosquito in the bit of the bokeh there, the marmot trying to swat it away. So one thing with the marmots is they're very, you know, they're pretty accustomed to human uh, contact. The ones who have been chipped have obviously been in the facilities where they've been monitored and they've been chipped and then released back out into the wild. So they're quite used to seeing people around and they, they make for pretty easy photographing, photographable animals. And they'll quite happily pose there for you. You certainly can't get too close to them and you probably, and you definitely shouldn't get too close to them. Um, but they're very, very cool animals. So this one was actually sitting underneath a chairlift in the middle of Vancouver Island. So we're living on a resort property. And you'll see here, you know, kind of trying to catch that sun sun uh, sunlight there, lying on the logs. So it was really cool to see that. And this is one of my favorite photos of the green border. Uh, this individual marmot didn't quite have a burrow like the other marmots, but was more so using a log, and I'm sure that they'll be keeping a monitor to make sure it gets a log, that it gets a burrow. Okay, so this is the most exciting part of the entire season. This is a Vancouver Island pup. This one has no tags, it's completely wild, it's been... You know, it's the first observed photo of this marmot that uh, we believe. And here you can see it collecting bedding for its burrow. There was a couple of pups inside the burrow. We only managed to photograph this one. It was quite confident. And I'm sure in coming seasons they'll be keeping a good eye on it. And then you see there, just keeping a watchful eye on us. So again, we were quite far back. I was using a very long lens, of course, not getting too close. And then just to finish off, this is one of the photos. I just love this photo. It showcases the marmots. They're often hiding behind rocks. They're sort of very, they're very intrigued animals. They're quite curious, but they always keep this element of, you know, caution about them. And you quite often, when you're hiking up there in the mountains, you'll see a little eye popping over top of the rock. And it's, I'm definitely going to miss photographing these guys. Uh, they just made for really interesting subjects. And I really enjoyed learning about them over the season. And I really enjoyed being able to walk alongside some of the marmot recovery workers out there and uh, being able to capture some of these animals for them. So definitely check out the Marmot Recovery Foundation website. It'll be linked below and you can see all the wonderful work they're doing that they've done this year and work that they're going to be doing in the future. And yeah, get out there and support wildlife. And um, thanks for watching, everyone.